the regime. Please welcome. Thank you, folks. Good evening. Good evening. My name's Mike Doroshenko. Thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight about the type of council I want to be and why I'm standing as a candidate for Division 6. I'm the father of two, both of whom have attended schools in Division 6. I've been married for 23 years and first moved to the Sunshine Coast 25 years ago and a resident of Sydney Downs for nine years. I've worked in state and federal public service as well as in the private sector and in large companies. I'm a president, a small business operator, and this is my first time standing as a candidate. I've no political alliances and I'm definitely not a career politician. I've no desire to represent you at future state or federal election, but possess a strong will to represent the people of Division 6 because I've always been passionate about my local community. I've been an active community advocate for many years, participating in and supporting a number of projects to improve our local community. As a former president of the Sydney Downs District Community Association, I have successfully lobbied for a number of community outcomes which have greatly benefited the local area, such as the Claymore Road bike path and saving the two one-off ramps from Sydney Downs Drive to the Sunshine Waterway. This leads me to my next point. Many political representatives are not proactive. Inherently, they're reactive. It's the role of a good councillor to be in touch with the issues in the community and find solutions. It's not enough to have the grass, um, to have the grass cut on a medium strip that someone complains about it, because that's their job. It's their job to do that. I want to be more than that. I want to be a councillor that's proactive in the community and resolve issues rather than set them aside in the too hard basket. We should expect more from our councillors than just doing their job. It's when you have the big issues that the community is desperately crying out for that separates a good councillor and someone just doing their job. It's the big issues like solving the parking problems and traffic congestions around Chancellor State College. In the nine years I've lived in Sydney Downs, next to nothing has been done to solve this important issue and I have a plan to solve that. It's big issues like the Burnett Street Nursing Home Development the pending redevelopment of the Muffler Factory site, the King Street development, and also to preserve the Buttermus Garden from excessive development. My position on issues outside of Division 6 will always be supportive of the people in that division. I would hope that the council responsible would be able to demonstrate that he has the will of the people with them, and I would support them in that process. That's how you get support for issues in your own division. It's big issues which I support, like the reintroduction of free annual council curbside pickup, as well as waste drop-off with four free trips to the tip per year. It's big issues like a second access road in Glenfields. I have made a commitment to extend Glenfields Boulevard 400 metres onto Mountain Creek Road. The road was never constructed by council or to the developer and residents have been fighting for this second access road for quite some time. People purchased property in that estate with the knowledge that a northwest access road would be built. The developer was not obliged to build the road after the land was gifted to the Crown as part of a 1998 agreement. Why did Council allow that to happen? This vital road infrastructure is a matter of safety for the people of Glenfields and they need to be able to leave the area quickly en masse in case of fire, flood or any other emergency situation. In 2009, Council instigated a survey of Glenfield residents to find out that 98% of the respondents wanted a second access road but instead they opted for a much cheaper alternative and built a temporary emergency access from a small cul-de-sac leading onto the Sunshine Motorway. The Department of Transport and Main Roads deemed the project as it's not considered appropriate and will present an unacceptable safety risk to road users on the Sunshine Motorway. It's on public record that on the 13th of December, Glenfield's council representative put forward a motion to reject the residents' petition to build a second access road, which was formally passed. I would like to thank Councillor Rick Babrowski from another division as the only councillor who supported the residents of Glenfields. Quite frankly, councillors failed the people of Glenfields and it will be my job if elected to try and build that road because they deserve it. I have a 21 point commitment plan to deliver for the people of Division 6 and this can all be found on my website. These are the things that have made me stand for your vote and with your support I will deliver for a stronger community. We should expect more because the community deserves it. Thank you.